Hi guys, this is Miss Polifka. Uh, I'm here today to tell you about our first lab, which is microscopes. Uh, so, a lot of what we understand about the world comes from things that we can see, right? Um, and because of this, scientists have been working on expanding our sight for thousands of years. Some focused on seeing things very far away and Many interesting and useful innovations came out of that, such as binoculars and telescopes. Others have focused on seeing things very close up. This is the idea that has brought about our modern day microscope. So microscopes allow us to see things more closely than our naked eye alone and allows us to see a whole other world that is far too small for the human eye to detect, um, like bacteria or even plankton, different cells. Um, in fact, some microscopes can even look at things many times smaller than that. Today, we're gonna look at two common types of microscopes, the stereoscopic microscope and the compound microscope. There are many other types of microscopes out there, and I encourage you to do some research on your own into some of the amazing things that can be uh, seen with them. Okay, so let's take a look at the parts of this microscope. So you can see here that we have the base, and this is the part that sits on your lab bench and it holds the microscope steady. Okay, this is where the majority of the weight is. You'll see here we have an arm. Under here, we have our stage, and this is where we're gonna put our specimen. We can turn the light on here, and you can see that it illuminates the stage. If I turn it like this, you can see this one has two lights, one from below and the one from above. This lamp up here is the overhead lamp. Now we also have our shroud, which inside this shroud, there is our objective lens. All right, and so this shroud protect, protects the objective lens. We have our ocular lenses here. And as you can see, if I turn it, you can actually, by gently moving these outwards or inwards, change the distance between uh, the two ocular lenses so that you can properly see. This is a course adjustment here. And as you can see, what that does is it brings the microscope up and down, the objective lens further or uh, closer to your specimen. This ant can be seen many times larger under the stereoscopic microscope than with our naked eye. Fine details can be seen such as the hairs on its abdomen, or even look, you can see little hooks on the end of each leg. But what if we wanna see things that are even smaller, like the cells that this ant is made of? Then we might wanna use the compound microscope. We're gonna go ahead and talk about that in part two of this video series.